In this video, we will show you how to file a lithium excise tax return. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to our website, cdtfa.ca.gov, and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the Online Services Login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA Online Services login page, we will enter our username and password. Then click Login. On the Online Services Profile page, under the Accounts tab, we will click on the Lithium Excise Tax hyperlink listed under Account Type. This will take us to the Lithium Excise Tax Account page. Under the Periods tab, click on the File Return hyperlink next to the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the year 2023, which is displayed by its return period end date of December 31, 2023. On the Did You Extract Lithium page, review the question. Did you extract lithium and or lithium compound or compounds during the reporting period? If you did not, select No. In our example, we did extract lithium and we'll select Yes. Click the Next button to continue. This brings us to the Lithium Extraction Sites page. Your registered lithium extraction sites should be listed under the heading Lithium Extraction Sites. If you would like to add additional lithium extraction sites that are not yet registered with us, select the Yes option. If not, select No. In our example, we do have additional lithium extraction sites and we'll select Yes. Please note, for help with your return, you can click on the blue hyperlink text Online Filing Instructions at any time while completing your return. To add an unregistered site to your return, click on the Add a Record hyperlink. A pop-up window, Unregistered Site Information, will appear. Enter the required information. You will need to validate the address by clicking the Validate Address button. If the address is valid, you will see the words Address Verified in green. After verification, click Add. This brings us back to the Lithium Extraction Sites page. The added site is now listed under the Unregistered Site Information section. Review the information. If the information is not correct, select the pencil icon to edit the record. Or, to delete the record, select the red X icon. Once the information is correct, Click Next. This brings us to the Lithium Excise Tax Detail Schedule. Any rates reflected in this example are for illustration purposes only. View current rates on our website. The Lithium Excise Tax Detail Schedule is composed of three tax categories. Here you will enter the metric tons of lithium and or lithium compounds extracted in each applicable category by county. The tax rate is determined by your cumulative total metric tons of lithium carbonate equivalent extracted, rounding to the nearest thousandth decimal point. The three tax rate categories are 20,000 metric tons or less, greater than 20,000 to 30,000 metric tons, and greater than 30,000 metric tons. The tax rates for each category will be populated for you. You will report in the 20,000 or less category until you fulfill the reporting limit of 20,000 metric tons. Once the reporting limit has been reached, a category will no longer be available for reporting purposes. Any additional or future tons of lithium carbonate equivalent extracted will need to be reported in the next category. For our example, we extracted 25,200.490 metric tons in Imperial County and 18,150 metric tons in Sacramento County for a cumulative total of 43,350.490 metric tons of lithium and or lithium compounds extracted. So, we will enter 20,000 in the 20,000 or less metric tons category for Imperial County. We still need to enter the remaining amount for Imperial County, which is 5,200.490. 
This will go into the greater than 20,000 to 30,000 metric tons category. This completes the reportable amounts for Imperial County, and we will move on to report the extracted amounts in Sacramento County. In our example, we extracted 18,150 metric tons of lithium and or lithium compound in Sacramento County. Since we have already fulfilled the 20,000 or less metric tons category with the extracted amounts from Imperial County, we begin our Sacramento County entry in the greater than 20,000 to 30,000 metric tons category. Because we already have 5,200.490, we can only input 4,799.510 for Sacramento County, and we'll move to the greater than 30,000 metric tons category to report the remaining amount for Sacramento. For our example, the remaining amount is 13,350.490. If you choose, you can save your work at any time by clicking the Save Draft button. Enter your password and click OK. You will then be directed to a confirmation page. Now that you've saved your draft, let's go back to filing your return. Click the Continue Editing button. Now we are back to filing your return. If everything looks correct on the Lithium Excise Tax Detail Schedule, click the Next button to continue. Check the Review Lithium Excise Tax page. If you need to make an adjustment, click Previous to go back. If the information displayed on this page is correct, click Next. This brings us to the Excess Lithium Excise Tax Collected page. If you collected more tax than what is due, click Yes and enter the amount of excess excise tax collected in the excess lithium excise tax collected box. In our example, we did not collect more lithium excise tax than what was due, and we'll select No. Then click Next. This brings us to the summary page. Review the information. To make changes, click Previous to go back. If everything looks correct, click Next. On the Your Information page, review the pre-filled information and make changes if necessary. If you are filing as a paid preparer, select Yes. In this example, we are not the paid preparer and will select No. When all required fields are completed, click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read this information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This will serve as your authorization and confirmation. This page confirms that you have filed a return. Please take note of your confirmation number and the total amount due. We recommend that you print this page for future reference. To make an electronic payment, click on the Make a Payment button. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. You can also share your feedback by clicking on the Online Services Survey button. Your opinion counts. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.